Okay, old goats. Uh, today, we are going to be putting together the uh, Doral Living Twin Bunk Bed. Uh, Brandy got this for the, the kiddos so that they have a more comfortable place to lay down. So, first step is we're going to make the head and the foot of, or, or maybe the head of both the beds. I'm not sure. Uh, what we're actually making um but anyway we're going to start with uh part b is in boy and we're going to have two of these okay so we're going to move the other things out of the way just ever so slightly so you got two b is in boys and then we need some dowel rods now it says and we're going to use 24 total dowel rods and uh, hooking these two heads or feet together. Heads or feet or foots or whatever they are. Anyway, I got tape and everything else all over me. And uh, I dropped it down. Okay. So we got our two B's laid down here. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six, six dowels in each. Um, So, six, twelve, yeah, all right, and, okay, so yeah, you need the, the three, two, three, face up, and you're going to put these into the, the bigger holes of the threes, and then both of the two and then the bigger holes of the threes again. And then you're gonna repeat for the other B. And don't worry if they don't go all the way in right now because we'll be able to pound them in with a hammer later. No, we'll get a rubber mallet or, or use our weight. Either way, we're not going to damage or scar the wood. So. Of course, some of this wood. <laughs> anyway, so the next piece you need is going to be your uh, G. You're going to need two G's. And the G goes on the bottom ones. And we. It looks like it's universal. I don't see any special. And we're just doing both these side by side here so that we can quickly and easily get it done. All right, then we're going to need two S's, which the S's are the smaller ones. And then we need two F's. F is in Frank. Now the F, your bow is going to go towards the top. Now that kind of is important to know. Okay. Now, you're going to take 12 more dowels. And put them on the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So we got all the dowels we need to finish this first step. Whew. So then you're gonna put the dowels in the tops here. I probably should have made that camera a little bit wider to uh, be able to grab all this. But it's okay, it still picks it up. Mm -hmm. 
That one's a little tight. Okay. Now, now we're gonna take piece A for one, piece C for the other, and we're gonna put those on top. Okay, we're gonna pick our other piece back up here. Just sit her back up. <sighs> Whew, I'm burning up. It's gonna be the same thing, guys. Okay, now that that's in, now we need eight of these screws, which are part three, or hardware piece three. Uh, and they're, they're labeled on here with a three. Pretty simple. Anyway, we got our drill out to help out with this. And there's two holes on the top. And all you're gonna do is drill them in. Pretty simple. Keep that nice and tight against the dowel so the dowel will hold it pretty good. Now, with the one side in, flip them over. And repeat on the other side. That's not hard. Set in there. Pull her off from the wall a little bit. Sorry that my hand's in the way. But uh, there you go. Now what we have is. We have two, either headboards or footboards. Okay guys, now that the headboards are together, it's time to put the uh, footboard, or the foot, footboard, I don't know, whatever it's called. <laughs> Headrest, foot something. Uh, you're gonna do the same thing as you did with the top. You're just going to put your uh, dowels in the holes. You know. 
And it's going to be pretty simple and pretty easy. Except for the one that's just a little bit too big. That one makes it a pain in the butt. Okay. Now, the other two pieces that we have are E and E. Okay. These are all the same on the bottom part. The top one had a couple different letters. But we're just going to go ahead and get them all set for this. Because we're going to do this a little bit quicker. Hopefully. Hopefully quicker. I don't know. Gonna get her set up, you know. Uh, put your dows in. It's not hard. Unless you're me and everything. But anyway, so it's gonna be the same setting as before. Whereas G goes on the bottom, then S in the middle, and then uh, F on top. Now I do have to kind of question. Which one's the bottom of these? Okay, so the bottom's gonna be the one that has this groove in it here. Oop, this groove in it here. This little groove. That's gonna be the bottom. So make sure your grooves are at the bottom for all of them. And, uh, it would help if, uh, you know, whatever, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so G goes on the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and put G in on the bottom of two of these. And we're going to put them into the D. Because that's what I told myself I was going to do to start with. Okay, then we're going to go to our two S's. And we're going to put those in. I'm sorry, I should offset these a little bit here so you can see. Oops. S's. Now we got our F's. Which, there again, you want the bowed end or the rounded end to be the top. So now, now that those are in there, <clears throat> they're ready for the top piece to be put on. What we got here is we got the top pieces. We're just going to go sit right on top of these. I shouldn't have picked them both up at the same time. But sometimes I'm a derp. And I don't think things through. Just hammer it in with your fist. Oops. And this is probably why we should have put them in there other pieces instead of trying to do it this way. Right 
Now they do give you uh, the Allen wrench for this. Uh, but I figured we'd be safe enough to use our drill. Just flip them over now that those screws are in. Whoa. And then we put our screws in the other side. Oops. Dropped it. Dropped it. Then we just screw those in too. And now we got our headboard and our feet board together. So guess what's next? I don't know. Okay, and for this, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick here. Uh, this is pieces I and K. Uh, there's also J and H. They're pretty much the same. Um, this is piece number, what is it, nine? Our hardware number nine, oops. Okay, it's just a little, uh, little nut there. You're gonna want the, uh, I believe you're gonna want the, uh, the Phillips part facing up. To where you can get to it, that way you can turn it. Uh, but you're gonna put two of these into two of these holes, and uh, it's gonna be the same two holes side by side here. So that way you can get the uh, the other piece lined up, because you're gonna put the uh, the bolt through the other through the the uh, footboard, and it's gonna go into there and then in through this and screw itself into that. So that's what that's going to look like. Uh, pretty simple, pretty easy, but does kind of need shown a little bit closer. So put those in there. So, put those in there slide the foot uh, board down. And you see this this slit here? That's where this piece is going to go in at. Okay. And you want the rail on the inside. Okay, so you want that in the hole and you want this rail on the inside because this is where your where your other pieces are going to go. Uh, so now we got to go to the other side of this. Yeah, I know we're not leaving ourselves much room here guys. Uh, but you're going to take this into that hole. And you're going to screw it in there. Uh, you're going to do the same with the other one at the bottom. But like I said, this is, you kind of really need a screwdriver here. To get that other piece lined up, I'm just looking to see if they gave us a screwdriver, and they didn't. Um, so I'm going to have to find a screwdriver to get my other piece lined up, so that these two uh, can screw into it. But that's that's all it is. It's it's pretty simple. You're going to do that for all four corners, and it's going to be the small the small ones for the front and back. Of the bottom, uh, the the what I thought was the footboards, they're both uh, the bottom bunk. At least I'm assuming it's the bottom bunk. It could be the top bunk. I still I haven't looked ahead yet, guys. Okay, guys, and we're gonna skip ahead a few steps here. Um, you're gonna take part five, which is a uh, metal rod, and you're gonna stick it into the holes on the four corners of the base of the bed. Now the reason we're skipping a step or a couple steps here is because this room not big enough to have all these pieces in here. 
and try to put the bed together at the same time. So we have to improvise. So I did check all the instructions and from what it looks like we can do it this way. I just gonna put the other piece on top. Uh, it's just we're gonna have to kind of like backtrack a little bit and pull these off whenever it's time to connect other pieces. So I'm gonna have to pick one of these up to get it off. Or one side up to get it off here, and then the other side up to get it off there whenever I get to that point. But for now, since we are limited on space. We just stacked both sides on top of it. That way we're ready to go for the next part. So if you find yourself a little bit on space, skip ahead and do this okay, part. Okay guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put H and J in. Now H is the side that's supposed to have the stairs attached to it. So we're gonna put it on the outside here because the stairs are going to go out here. Uh, J is on the back side there. So there's that. The other two pieces are M and M. And those go on the back side by the wall. So we got it up there. And uh, we need to secure it with some screws and this is the, okay, so we need uh, eight pieces of that again. Eight of the ones with the metal things inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight is laying on the ground there. So, whew, it's getting hot in here, boys. So, uh, uh oh. Yep, okay, we're good. We're good. So, we're gonna set the thing down there. Now, remember, this has those metal things that have to go inside. They have to screw into. So we're going to try to get those set and get it at least loosely fit for now. That way we can uh, move other things around. I mean, this isn't that hard, guys. It's, it's really, it's really not. We just need to make sure that we get all the pieces connected uh, so that we can move it because we're going to have to move it. Now remember, we're skipping a step here, so. Remember, we uh, went ahead a couple steps with uh, going ahead and setting this on top. So, you know, there's that. That's the only option I really have in this small room, especially when I'm working by myself. is to uh, kind of skip ahead a little bit just to get it to uh, be a little bit easier. I 
think I might have got it off tilt right here. I did get her off killer. Ah. Well, I'm gonna have to twist her sideways or bend her over to get that out of there. So we'll just skip that one for now. Try to move forward just so that we can get somewhere with this. So. to be in the way. I'm going to go ahead and put the dowel on the other side too, just so that they're there. And we got the pieces here ready. And I believe they're F. Nope, they're M. My apologies. So you're going to go ahead and, oopsie, helps if you've got it facing the right way. Push the dowel in, and then and then the screw goes in. Pretty simple. And you do that one goes the same way. You just put the other M up there, slide the dowel in, put the screw in, the, uh, the opening for the tightener uh, down, and you got the stairway. Uh, two pieces you need are ends and you. I'm giving you the part numbers, guys. I'm not. So. You put your uh, dowel in here, and then you slide this in to there. Make sure you put the right uh, side up there to where the other hole is going to line up with the other hole. Pretty simple. And then you're going to put your screws in. Uh, these are the same ones we've been using, the threes. Starting to 
and die off, guys. Yep. All right, the battery's starting to die, but those are in there. This piece is together. Let me grab. So now that, uh, that piece is done, <coughs> you're gonna find out which one of these posts is labeled A. Uh, the one that's labeled A is the one you're not going into. Okay? The, the one labeled A is on the other side. So that's why I'm going into this side. So the piece you just put together, you're going to take her and you're going to slide those dowels right into the big holes because the small holes are for your screws. Okay, and with that done, we'll get those threes in there. It's pretty easy. Okay. We're almost completely caged in here. Now, the last step of this piece is to get your 10 and 11, which that's what these things are. Uh, unscrew it. This small cap here is your 11. This is your 10. You're going to put your 11 in there. Put your other 11 in there. And you can put your 10s on the outside here. I'm not exactly straight. But, uh, We'll probably have to crawl on the outside to put this in. <clears throat> Which is not what I wanted to do. piece is going to be piece R and they were nice enough to put a sticker on these that says up just in case your sticker is not there that says up the polished side is going to be the top the rougher side is going to be the bottom so anyway there's no holes drilled here I mean there's holes drilled in this piece but there's not holes drilled in the, uh, the piece you're attaching to and so we are, uh oh, I got the wrong bit. Crap. Ow. Ah. Shoot. Where did the other bit go? <clears throat> oh, it's right there. Yeah, it's right there. All right. So, this is gonna be a Phillips head. And uh, we went ahead and down, went downstairs and got the clamps because I figured these probably aren't going to want to sit still for me. So there's three screws on each side here. <clears throat> and once you get it clamped, you should be able to hold it for you. well enough to get her started and then for 
there, so I got my bit in there a little too far, probably. So we'll try to pull that bit out and see if we can get it tightened down just a little bit further. Cool, that works. Awesome. So now this side's done. Now all we gotta do is the other side. Alrighty, guys. Now it's time to do the ladder, uh, which this proves to be fairly simple. All right, you got the big old little hole, big old little hole. Big hole takes it out. Little hole takes the screw. There, you want to get that one? Alex will even need the damn ladder. No, he won't need the ladder. He'll be able to just jump right up in there. He's a little nice. All right. Then you put your other piece across the top. Across it. Pretty simple, huh? And then this piece goes right on top. Okay. Now your lighter's there. All you gotta do is put your screws in. Screw them in. Flip her over and screw the other side. There we go. The ladders together. Pick all the stickers off here, now we just gotta attach it to the uh, to the bed. We, we take more of the twos. Uh, two of them go in the bottom. Two of them go in the top. But uh, Brando will try to get her lined up there. I'll try to get her third. Here's little. Yep, the hole is little. We're gonna get some uh, uh, what they're calling these. They're calling these the number two for the hardware. Oh wait a minute, I guess I could look at here. I'm sorry, they're calling them number fours for the hardware. I'm hmm. number number on one. Yeah, I don't know. They're calling them number fours. Yeah, it is. It's under this part for the hardware. There's just screws. Um, you're gonna put your L's. Your, yeah, your L's. You get three L's on the outside, outside on the far end. Three L's on the bottom end, 
three L's on the top on this end, three L's on the bottom on the other end. The other two are, or the other four are T's. Uh, they're the ones in the middle. They're the ones that have the uh, the dowel peg on them. Those go in the middle, and those don't get screwed in. So you're gonna need a longer bit because it's a pretty deep hole. Put your screw on your bit. Put her down in there. Boom. That's all it is to it. You do that for all both sides. For all twelve boards. So that's it for that. Uh, let me see if there's any more instructions. Nope, there's no more instructions. We're done. Oh, well, there you guys go. She's together. Uh, still waiting on the mattresses to get here, but uh, you know, I think it'll be you know, it'll be good. So, bye.